we are discussing jet physics 2021 optics problem here is one marks mcq let us read the statement of this problem a glass sphere of radius r and refractive index n acts like a lens of fo focal length acts like a lens with focal length so solution for this problem would be for thick lens focal length is given by 1 by f n minus 1 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 plus n minus 1 into n r1 r2 into t further R1 would be positive R, R2 would be negative R. This is for a sphere of radius R. Ref thickness would be 2R and refractive index would be N would be N. Substituting these values, so we would get 1 by F is equal to N minus 1 divided by 1 by R minus 1 by minus r plus n minus 1 into 2r divided by n into positive r into minus negative r. So, here this would simplify as n minus 1 2 divided by r into 1 minus n minus 1 by n. So, this turn out to be f would be n of r into 2 n minus 1. So, from where if we can check it out, we would get n of r divided by 2 2 into n minus 1. So, our answer would be option B for this problem. A flat soft film has a uniform thickness of 510 nanometer. White light having wavelength in the range of about 390 to 700 nanometer is incident normally on the film. If the refractive index of soft is 1.33. What will be the dominant color of the reflected light? So, we have to determine which color will be dominant in reflected light. Solution Condition of maxima and Reflected light is 2 mu t equals to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 2 where n is equals to 0, 1, 2 and so on and so forth. So, from here the wavelength Lambda is given by Lambda would be 4 mu t divided by 2 n plus 1 and that can be further written as 4 into 1.33 into 510 nanometer divided by 2 n plus 1. So, this can be written as 2713 divided by 2n plus 1 nanometer. Substituting, substituting n is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth. We would get lambda is equals to 2713 nanometer. 904.3 nanometer, 542.6 nanometer, 
387.5 नैनोमीटर 301.4 नैनोमीटर सो वन कैन सी दैट लैमडा इज इक्वल टू 54.26 नैनोमीटर लाइज इन विजिबल रेंज 390 नैनोमीटर टू 700 नैनोमीटर since violet corresponds to 390 nanometer r corresponds to 700 red corresponds to 700 nanometer so this lambda is equals to 542.69 nanometer corresponds to color gray that means green color dominate in the reflected light that is option b is our correct answer for this problem a monochromatic linearly polarized light with electromagnetic field e is equals to e0 sin omega t x cap plus y cap is incident normally on bifringent calcite crystal The wavelength of wave is 590 nanometer, and refractive index of the crystal along x direction and y direction are 1.66 and 1.49 respectively. If the thickness of the crystal is 434 nanometer, what will be the polarization of the light that emerges from the crystal? So we have to determine whether what is the polarization of the light, whether that is linearly polarized, circularly polarized. neither linearly nor circularly but elliptically polarized so these are the three options we are having it so let us check it out solution we have e is equals to e0 sin omega t minus kz x cap plus y cap that means e x is equals to e0 sin omega t minus k z and e y is equals to e0 sin omega t minus k z that is x cap that is y cap for calcite crystal For calcite crystal, it is an e an extraordinary refractive index of extra extraordinary is less than refractive index of ordinary, which means calcite crystal is a negative crystal. The phase difference. introduce between o ray and e ray by the crystal is 2 delta is equals to 2 pi by lambda into n not e minus And e into t that is two pi five nine zero one point six six minus one point four nine into four three four, which is turn out to zero point two five pi that is pi by four. Thus, the emergent light. is given by ax is equals to a0 sin omega t and ey is equals to a0 
साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस पाई बाय फोर डेट मींस अमेजेंट लाइट इज इज इलेक्ट्रिकली पोलराइज An ideal polarizer is placed in between two crossed polarizer in a coaxial geometry as shown. The middle polarizer is rotated at an at the angular speed of omega about the common axis. If the unpolarized light of intensity I note is incident on the system, the emergent intensity of the light would be. So we are having option I note. By eight one minus four cos omega t i naught by sixteen one minus four omega t i naught by sixteen cos omega t i naught by sixteen one minus one by two omega t. So let us check it out. If here intensity is i naught, so emerging from if that is p one and that is p two, which are cross. So if I would be saying it, you can check it out. The direction of this would be this. And the direction of emergent would be this, and it is rotated at an angle theta, and theta is defined as omega t. And if I would be placing like this one, so that angle would be along the vertical. Now, okay, so. Once the light is coming out of P one, this intensity would be I naught by two. Now, when this light would be emerging from this, I would be saying it another polarizer P three, rotate it at an angle theta. Then the component would which would be passing from P three would be here in this region, according to law of Mollus. I would be I naught by two into cos square theta, and now when this I would be taking is I one. Now when this I one is passing through it, the component which would be emerging from this would be this one. So we can say the final intensity will be I three will I two will be I one cos square pi by two minus theta I one. So I two would be I one that is I naught by two cos square theta, and here I would be having sin square theta. So one can write it down I naught by two. Or I can write it down eight and four cos square theta sin square theta. So we can also write it down. Now it would be I naught by eight into sin square two theta. Now whereas this term can be written as I naught by sixteen. One minus cos four theta, and this theta would be nothing but so I three would be I naught by sixteen one minus cos four omega t as theta can be written as omega t. So our answer for this problem would be. Option B. I naught by sixteen one minus four cos omega t.